Welcome back, guys. In this video, we are going to review IXL assignment Z2, identify functions from graphs. All right, if you watched my last video on Z1, identifying functions, that held a variety of options. We were identifying functions from ordered pairs, from tables, and from points on a graph. This time, we are identifying it from graphed lines which means our focus needs to be using the vertical line test. The vertical line test is, I mean, it's basically its name. We're going to draw vertical lines, and that allows us to test and determine whether or not a relation is a function. Let's do a brief um, refresher here. What makes something a function? A function is a relationship or a relation, my bad, where every input has a unique output. So every input, every x value has a unique, so a different output. The easiest way for us to determine that is do we have different inputs? Are all of our inputs different? Are all of our x values different? All right. And the vertical line test helps us determine that because by drawing a vertical line that is going straight through the x value that is helping us see are all of the x values different or do we have some repeaters which would mean nope it's not a function it doesn't work properly now when you do these vertical lines you guys can just kind of trace it with your finger but i am going to use the annotate button and actually physically draw a line all right if I draw a vertical line right here, that goes through the x value of negative 1, negative 2. That vertical line goes through the x value of negative 2. And I can see that that vertical line intercepts, so it crosses, my graphed line once, which means in that point, I'm good to go. But we can't just draw one vertical line. We got to do several because we got to make sure the entire um, line works. But if I go and draw a vertical line right here, ooh, I should have changed my color. Here we go. If I, sorry, it's running. If I draw a vertical line right through here, ooh, that's not a very straight line, but that runs through the x value of zero, it intercepts my graph here and here, which means there are two points on my graph that have the x value of zero, which means my input repeats, my x value repeats. So it is not a function. And that's correct. Let's try it again. All right, same thing. Our graphs are going to look different, but the process for this activity is very similar. All right, if I draw a vertical line right here through the x equals negative 1, it only intercepts my graph once. So we're good to go there. If I go through x equals 0, it only intercepts once. That looks pretty good. Let's try one more spot right here through x equals 2. It only intercepts my graph once which means this passes the vertical line test. None of my x values repeat. Therefore, this graph is a function. Awesome. All right, let's jump up a level. Mm, here we go. Same thing, only now we have four graphs. And we want to know, if we read the directions, which one of these is a function. All right, draw my vertical line right here through the x value of neg, oh, not negative two, positive two. It intercepts my graph once and then again at the bottom. This is automatically not a function. All right, if I draw, that looks pretty good. One time, one time, one time, and one time. All right. I think that's my function, but I want to check the other two to make sure because I don't want to get it wrong. So remember that really kills your smart score, but I think that's our winner. All right. Mm, 
that spot looks good. Terrible dot, but it's okay. Ooh, it intercepts one, two, three times, which means there are three points on this graph that have that X value. So my inputs do not have a unique output, not a function. And oh, right off the bat, intercepts twice, repeating X's, not a function. So good, I confirmed that this second one right here, my straight line, is the only one that passes the vertical line test, which means it's the only one that is a function. All right, let's try one more. Ooh, this is a select all that apply. So notice that on this assignment, guys, the concept doesn't change, but the type of question changes. So please read the directions carefully so you know whether it's multiple choice and you're selecting one answer or it has little check boxes and you have to select all that apply. All right, vertical line here looks good. Vertical line here, ooh, that doesn't look good, but it's pretty close. So let me do another one. Oh, yep, right here. One, two, three, just confirmed it. That X value repeats three times, not a function. Only once, only once, 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 once. All right, this is one of my possible answers. Ooh, this one's kind of curvy, that one looks funky. All right, we're just right there. One time. One time, one time, and one time. All right, that one looks good too. And last but not least, okay, only intercepts once. I think this one's good to go too. All right, we actually have three possible answers here. One, two, and three. Very good, all right. So hopefully this helps you guys out. And if you have any questions, feel free to send me an email and I'll be happy to assist. Bye.